<laughs> oh, 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 we got one. <laughs> we got one. Today I have hopefully a pretty good electronics Amazon custom returns palette. So what I got, this came on one pallet, a very heavy, one heavy box. This thing probably weighs at least 30, 35 pounds or so. So this could be full of records or computer printer paper. Let's hope for the first thing. So the total MSRP, which is the total price on amazon.com if everything was brand new, if it was brand new, but this is not, this is custom returns, but the full price would be $1,708. But this is liquidation, so I paid a liquidated price because these are custom returns. Some will be damaged, some will be salvaged, some will be used, and some will still be new. And some could be new with just some damaged packaging. My price, including taxes, fees, buyer's premium, 210 bucks. So that's not bad. Probably about what, 12, 13% of MSRP? That's not bad, that's not bad. So right now we're in the midst of the Christmas return liquidation season. So this is the time when you can get some pretty good higher end electronics, higher end toys that are still new in the package. Your odds in February and March is when all the Christmas returns start funneling through the liquidators. So, hopefully this is a good one. A couple weeks ago we got a, a Nintendo Switch out of electronics liquidation. Then the last one was terrible. This one hopefully gets a lot better. But my price point, 210 bucks. My investment on this, you know, is pretty small. And, uh, but this is actually what I do for a living. I buy liquidations from several local liquidation companies in Indianapolis, and then I resell the stuff. And some of the stuff, you can't resell it, you have to donate it. And other items, you can sell online, some you gotta sell in person. When in person, do any type of possible in-person selling possible let go, offer up Craigslist, garage sales, flea markets, whatever you can sell it. If you, if you can move it that way, move it locally. You know, here we go. Um, it looks better than last week. It looks better than last week's, okay? First item I'll pull out, a, a PlayStation 4 game. So this is a no disc game. It's only a code. The code is in there. So, uh... I actually figured out a way how to test the PS4 codes and to see if they work or not. And if this code has not been used yet, then I'll sell. If it has, if it has been used, then you know I just keep the, the empty case and keep it moving. So here we go. Next, Last of the Dogman. Okay. DVDs I sell for a couple bucks now. I used to get it like three or four hours out of a couple years ago, but the price of them just keep going down, 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 down. Now I'm lucky to get two bucks a piece for just DVDs. Stainless steel primary molar crowns. What? I've never gotten molar crowns before in a liquidation palette. An electronic liquidation. Yeah, these are crowns for people's molars. That's weird. Okay. Let's see, we got another PlayStation 4 game. We've got, what is it called? The Outer Worlds PlayStation 4. Disc is there. Disc is in fantastic condition. There's not anything wrong with it. When did this game? This game came out in 2019. This actually is a newer game, so this is newer. This probably be a good, you know, 25 bucks or so for a used PlayStation 4 game. Can't beat that. Let's see. We got... I keep getting these, these are, okay, what this is, this is a iPhone um, 10s case, and they're extremely cheap. I mean, they are the cheapest cell phone case I've ever seen in my life, and they keep popping up in my liquidation pallets. The first time I got like 10 of them, last week I got like five of them, and I hopefully this isn't full of them, these stupid things again, but they're, they are incredibly cheap. Cheap. Let's see, Ella something, Goodly, Goodling. CD, oh, look at that. That CD is no good. So things like this, well, just do it live on camera. I do, take out all the inserts, 
because they're all, you know, CDs. Take the inserts out. And then I keep the empty cases for all this stuff. Because I'll eventually get out a CD that's pretty decent in price and uh, replacement case. And this stuff becomes trash. Next, Steven Stills CD. This one is not cracked in two. Good shape though. CD, same thing, a couple bucks on CDs. Overcomer DVD plus digital. Never heard of it. DVD is, oh, it's all scratched up. Whoa, that's really scratched up bad. Don't know if that'll play or not. But the, the uh, digital code is still in it. So if the digital code works, I got a, I got a free movie then. Oh, nice. Nintendo Switch. Full game download. So this does not actually have a game card. This is just a digital download of this game. So I actually, like, I do have this Nintendo Switch that I got out of a pallet a couple weeks ago. And actually, I just kept it because now I use it to try out all the Switch games. Because um, there's been a problem going around games now. A lot of, there's a new, it's not a new scam, but people are taking off labels off the of games and putting them onto really crappy games. Just like this, Super Mario Brothers was a Switch label. What actually, whenever you pop this game in, it's actually uh, Mr. Incredible or The Incredibles, or the game's called. And so they uh, kept the Marble Brothers game. They then they switched the labels on a you know a much cheaper, crappy game. So uh, yeah, I pretty much just kept this. Just try out games. So this is a downloadable code. I don't know if it's going to work or not though. Silk Innovations. We got a tough case for iPhone Seven. Oscar. We got a lot of DVDs in this one. Eh, it's not bad. A few scratches on it. Oh, here's some good. Yeah, okay, here we go. We have a PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. Uh, okay, it has been all opened up and the package is damaged. Doesn't look used though. I mean, maybe lightly used, but yeah. Controller, good like 20, 25 bucks on that. Not bad. What is this thing? Whatever that says. Oh no! Oh! Oh! We got one! <laughs> we got one! Man! Okay, so we. Yeah, because so we have a used um, bedroom toy. I can't get it back in. <laughs> Just go back into its hole. There's actually like an indigent hole for it to go into. My wife got one of these out of her health and beauty palette last week. She got a pretty fancy bedroom toy. This bedroom toy, it's used. It's also used. It's purple in color. It's, uh, how should I say it's nice? It's rippled. And it has, yep, yeah, it's a multi-use one. It can do two things at once, if you know what I mean. So, that's actually a more expensive uh, bedroom toy. But, uh, I don't touch these things. I don't try them out. I don't actually try to sell these, but somebody always wants to buy these things off of me. I mean, if you want to buy a possibly used bedroom toy, it's for sale. If nobody buys it, honestly, I just throw it away. Because I, I don't openly sell that kind of stuff. Especially online or locally, because that just... No. So, whoever buys that, because some, somebody will contact me, I don't try it out, I don't touch it, I don't clean it, that's up to you to do any kind of sanitation. Let's keep going. It's electronics, so it's got, it uses batteries. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. House Construction Ahead, Fred Levine's. A lot of DVDs in this. Decent shape, few scratches. Bow stitch, pencil sharpener. That one's still factory seal too. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's not. Looked like it was. Oh, that's very used. Lots of pencil shavings. Honestly, it's probably burn up. It probably won't even work. Cool, Final Fantasy, was it 15? Royal Edition. 
When did this one come out? Again, I want to show the downloadable code or the extras. This came out 20, looks like 18. So it's probably at least, no, at least like a $20 game, I bet, still. Game's in fantastic shape. The downloadable code is still there. I don't know if it's expired or anything, but Final Fantasy. We have a little tiny a wireless mouse. Yeah, you know, little cheapy thing. Unbreakable. Oh, like we got. Oh, it's uh, all screen protectors for your iPhone. They're not used. They're usually like it's empty packaging half the time, but this time it is not. So that's appreciated when it's not empty. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I see some records. Oh yeah, there's quite a few records in this palette. So that's that's all the what all the weights from. I've got this before. Oh, here's Borderlands 3. Is this PS4? Yeah, nice. This is the Steel Book Edition Borderlands 3. This is getting too bad of shape. Any downloadable codes? Garcia I can't show them on camera. Yep, it's still there. I don't know if it's been used or not, though. But yeah, Borderlands 3 Steel Book Case. That's nice. That's a lot of PlayStation 4 games. Oh, oh yeah, Football Pest 2020. That's a brand new soccer game. Good shape, really good shape. And I don't see any codes for it, but yeah, that's, that's came out probably within the last year or less. So that's probably a good $25 game, I bet, in used condition. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Oh, it's an iPhone 7 case for your phone Dave Chappelle's block party that should be kind of funny actually DVDs there not whoa that thing's dirty that thing's all scratched up honestly it probably won't work let's see we have oh we got a Microsoft keyboard Microsoft Bluetooth keyboard clavier let's see if it's actually the right keyboard in there though and it is yes Yep, it's the right keyboard. Is the dongle still there? Looks like, oh, it looks like it just connects through Bluetooth. Oh, through Bluetooth. There is not a dongle on this. Okay. Bluetooth keyboard. That's pretty nice. That could be like maybe like 25, 30 bucks maybe in that range. I'll have to do a little research on that later. Find out price on that. Oh, we have, a, we have a toy, my own laptop. It's the LeapFrog children's toy. That's good, 15 bucks. Uh, very, very, very used. Like an iPhone 10s Max case. Oh, this is that, uh, oh, what's that cord called? What, that size cord, I can't think of it. Like it fits my camera, whatever size that cord is. Of course, you don't know what size fits my camera, but that fits my camera. The Girl in the Spider's Web. Have you ever heard of that? We have... There's Blu-ray. Download. DVD. Okay, it's all there. So, a lot of Blu-rays, like five, six, eight bucks on those. Here's a stack of records. Let me make some room. Is that all the records? Nope, there's more down here. Yeah, that's a stack of records. Wow. Oh, we'll do the records last. I need to get them out of there, so uh, I had a little more room to dig around a little bit. But that is a stack of records right there. Something fell, but it looks like it's just a small little cord. Okay, back in the... Crayons. Okay. Super shields. Man, I am running out of room. A black piece of plastic. I don't know. We have a children's book. Looks like it needs some batteries to it. Different. Oh, one of those smart light bulbs. 
LIFX branded smart light bulbs, a journal, Avery labels. <laughs> you get down and bomb this box, it's like lots of onesies and twosies. We have that, uh, what's it called? Death, Death Adder. It's like 30 bucks for that thing. August Smart Keypad, secure code based home entry for your August Smart Lock. That could be some right there of some value. Never seen this. The thing's tiny. Oh, it's like a film. There's like there's like a cover over it. That's different. August. I'm gonna look this up real fast because I'm just kind of curious. I have no clue where my phone's at. It's not around here. It's not down here. Okay. And my computer has stuff on top of it now, so we won't be looking this thing up because I don't know where my phone went. I don't know. So next, we have a brand new universal remote. How much does these even cost now, replacing universal remotes? I don't even know, honestly. I have no, no clue. Oh, here's our record. Okay. Oh, cool. Xbox One and Windows 10. We have a controller. The Power Up controller. It looks really fancy kind of controller. Very vibrant looking. That might be like 30, 35 bucks right there for, for that thing. That's pretty cool. A few things left in this box and we'll get to the records. I'm excited about the records. One of those like small little cords again. Outlander, season four. My wife likes that show. At least she did like it. They're used, but they're all there. Probably good 10 bucks. Creep Show 2. I'm watching that. I haven't seen Creep Show forever. Actually, Creep Show might be on Netflix, though. Haven't seen Creep Show for a long time. Casting Crowns, a good uh, Christian group. Casting Crowns. I think I saw them live one time. I think. Well, there's the CD. Oh, it has a big old defect on it. Right in the middle of it, that thing won't it won't play correctly. Jimmy Fortune God and Country. Okay, we've got another CD Harmony Bill Frizz Frizzle. An adapter to plug into the wall. Just Amazon Basics adapter. Then screen protector. Polaroid film. It's like still fire sealed, but the thing's all beat up. Not for vintage camera, for the newer Polaroid cameras. No of these little, little tiny cords again. There's more of these little like tiny cords. Red Beam 2 Variable Brightness Astro Flashlight. Hmm. It's been retaped. It's not factory sealed. Here's what the thing looks like. I like keeping like flashlights and stuff just to, around the house. Oh, that's some different red beam flashlight. Well, I think it needs batteries or something. Not turn on. I have to play that thing later. See what's up with that thing. But little trinket red beam flashlight and one thing or two things left oh no <laughs> they're just a random silver pencil empty package and then a unicorn uh beetle it's a iphone case here we go with the records i'm excited about the records records i sell for uh $12 plus shipping, which makes about $16 shipped. I usually I used to sell them for $15 shipped, but every year USPS increases the shipping rates and they increase the rates. Businesses have to increase price, we don't have a choice. So first one, Ed Sheeran. Probably a pretty good album right there. Right there's gonna be $12, of course, plus, or it's $16 shipped, but I only make 12 bucks off of it. What is this? Hmm, I have no clue. There is no tile on this thing whatsoever. It was just tape, not factory sealed. Who is it? 
Floating Points Crush. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Floating Points Crush. I guess that's the name of the band is Floating Points Crush. Maybe I should know that. I don't know. Next, we have Iggy Pop. TBI. Got some that Iggy Pop. Not a huge fan of, of uh, Iggy Pop. I never have been. Good shape. Used, but pretty good shape. So something like this, once again, like $12 plus shipping or, you know. I'm just going to say $16 ship, but I only make 12 bucks off of it. Of course, then after federal and state taxes and selling fees, I get like 8 bucks off of them. Ari Lennox Shea Butter Baby. They're like $12 on that one. or uh, $16 shipped. Confusing myself now. Base Nectar. Some of these I've never heard of. Them. Base Nectar. And we've got Panic at the Disco. Heard of them. Don't know anything about them. I don't know if I like them or not. No clue. Got Panic at the Disco. Next. The Killers. Hot Fuss or Fuse? Fuss. Don't really know much about them. Don't know if I like them or not. <laughs> $16 ship. Lana Del Rey. That's a very sparkly album cover. It's like gold foil embossed. It says it is a the Paradise edition of Lana Del Rey. I think it's actually missing a record. There's supposed to be two records in here. Three records. It's supposed to be three records in here. I only see... One record. It's actually missing two records, so I hurt the price on that one. Steve Miller Band, greatest hits. I'm actually going to keep this one. I do not have Steve Miller Band on vinyl, so yeah, this one I will be keeping for my own record collection, as you can see. Record collection right here. Actually, I bought a new one of these wooden crates, uh, Crosley crates, because my records are full, and I'm starting to stack them up on top of my record player, so I bought another crate to keep them going, so yeah, you'll be seeing... Two of these in the background. Maybe on a different shelf, though. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I was never a big fan of that movie. I watched it a couple times, and it was okay. It had its funny moments, but it was just probably bag, not factory sealed. Both records are there. I know it's a pretty much, this is a cult following kind of a, kind of a movie, but I just was never a huge fan of it. I don't know. Cigarettes after, yep. Keeping this channel as clean as I can. 16. Oh, Highway to Hell. ACDs. I think I already have this record. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm actually very, very sure I already actually already own this one. If I don't, I'm going to keep it, but I'm pretty sure I actually already... Actually, I do own... I own uh, like a first pressing from like 1979-ish, 78-ish. I actually own a first... I do have this. So, actually, I'll keep the first pressing and I'll just go ahead and keep this one too. I have both of them. Oh, this is a uh, uh, Adele. That is Adele. Was this her first one that she made? Yeah, this is the uh, Hello record. Her first one. By Adele. Neo Theater. No clue. I'm gonna, it's just probably bad. It is not factory sealed. Neo Theater. Never heard of them. Might be a pretty good band though. Next, we've got The Birds, Sweetheart of the Rodeo. Another 16 ship. Oh, cool. Here's an Eminem, the Eminem show. I liked his first like, two albums the, uh, the Slim Shady LP and the Marshall Math Mathers LP. After that, I really wasn't a huge fan of his music after his first two. Personal preference. Honestly, they, they came out also when, what was it? Late 90s, early 2000s, when I was much younger, too. But, yeah, I haven't really cared for him after his first two that he came out with. Just personal preference. His style changed, and I didn't really care for it anymore. Melanie Martinez. Next, we have this one. Is It's just Polybag. It is not factory sealed. Looks like this one is Jack White. Jack White, a blunderbuss. 
That's probably pretty good, actually. I'm gonna... I probably won't keep it though. Probably not. Probably not. More than likely now. We got Young Blood, the Underrated Youth. Never heard of that one. Almost done. That was a lot of records in this. Marriage Story. Oh, that's that uh, Netflix movie, isn't it? Mar I haven't, still haven't seen it yet. Marriage Story soundtrack. This one might be one of the hard ones to actually sell. <laughs> Something like that. I don't think many people are trying to find the Marriage Story soundtrack. I could be wrong, though. Pearl Jam, Riot Act. Pearl Jam is an awesome group. Not one of my favorite ones, though, so I won't keep it. I do have several of the early ones on vinyl. Let's see. Rolling Stones. I Okay, I've never been a Stones fan. I've never cared much for the Rolling Stones. I know that sounds weird because I, like, I, I love the Beatles. I like a lot of the 60s, 70s rock, but I just have never cared for the Stones. To, to this day, I just don't, I don't care for them. Oh, we have a Nine Inch Nails, some kind of a box set. The Fragile Nothing Interscope. Okay, this is going to be a lot more than $16 ship for this one. This might be like $30 or $40. Nine Inch Nails, The Fragile. That's actually going to be a pretty good one right there. And a last one in the entire palette. It's actually factory... Oh, man. Of course, I end on this one. We have a record. It's still factory sealed, but the record is completely broken in half. That's how we end this palette. On a broken... I mean, it's, it's already broken in half. That record is done. That's what we got. That is everything. This was... Total of $1,708, I paid two ten. dollars It was a pretty good palette. I got like a small stack of PlayStation 4 games. One, two, three, four, five, five PlayStation, five PlayStation 4 games, a Switch game, Xbox One game, Xbox controller, PS4 controller, uh, a whole bunch of records. So yeah, this is going to be profitable. I'll, I don't know, maybe, maybe like 500, 600 bucks on, on, on this one. Maybe more than that once, you know, all prices actually might be a little bit more than that still. So, yeah, this is going to be a profitable pal. I got for, you know, two, 200 bucks, pretty much. 210 bucks. So, yeah, this, this, was, has, this was a good one. I'm pleased with it. Stuff was pretty clean. Not a whole lot damaged except for the last record that was been in half. Oh, we did get the bedroom toy. So, you get those from time to time in your pallets. You get used stuff. That should not be returnable. But anyway, I'll see you next time with another electronics liquidation. I'm out.